Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Argus ArgoFlex 75. Uh, this model overall was made from 1948, 1949 to 1958. They changed the logo from ArgoFlex to Argus after 53. So this is from sometime between 1949 and 1953. I read that some had a date stamp inside. This one doesn't have one. Uh, from 58 to 64, the plastic, I think it's Bakelite, was brown. So anyway, I can narrow it down to a few years. It's what they call a pseudo TLR because the lenses aren't focusing lenses. Really though, I mean, it's twin lens reflex. It has a taking lens, has a viewing lens, and has a mirror for the reflex part. So just because it's not focusing, pseudo TLR. Uh, it's a 75 millimeter fixed focus lens. Uh, it's good for seven and a half feet to infinity. It would accept push on filters and a close up lens portrait adapter that they made. It's 28 and a half millimeters, but that's the outside diameter, not a screw diameter. Uh, it's about F11. Um, there's two time selections here on the front. Instant, uh, spec-wise, is supposed to be about 1 50th of a second. Um, it varies a lot depending on the one you get. I've seen ranges and people have measured them from a 30th to a 60th. And what they call time, which is really bulb mode, so you hold it in and then you let it go and that's uh, your exposure time. It takes 12 exposures, two and a quarter inches square, six centimeters square, on 620 film. And the supply side, if you're really careful, maybe do the nail clippers around the edge thing, you can use a 120 spool. The take up side though, there is no room for it. It's gotta be a 620 spool unless you get in there with a Dremel tool or something like that. There's a double exposure prevention, the wind, uh, Cox, the shutter, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this, there is a red that shows when it's cocked. Um, this one has a problem. I took it apart and cleaned it. It seemed to be uh, hitting okay on instant, but then it decided to do this trick where it, it kind of hangs. And apparently that's uh, the part of this slider switch that sticks inside that moves a piece in the shutter clockwork mechanism. So it kind of gets in limbo in between instant and time. So my shots kind of suck with this. I'm going to have to tear it apart and see if I can add something so that it's a more definitive selection with the switch. Um, they made a flash for this guy. It uses these two posts on the left side. The Argus 76 flash. I do have one. I haven't uh, had a chance to test it yet. Use number 5 or press 25 bulbs. Um, they're pretty easy to tear into to work on the shutter, so it's not too horrible that I have to get back in there. My test roll uh, introduced a couple more variables in addition to being an old, old camera. I used Ilford SFX 200. Uh, it's film that can do uh, infrared. It's more sensitive to the red spectrum at the higher end of the frequency range near infrared. Uh, with that, you should probably use a filter, definitely use a tripod, it does have the socket. But if you just shoot with it, it's a decent panchromatic 200 speed uh, black and white film. So I'm going to tear into this little guy, see if I can get that shutter problem gone, and then I'll run another roll through it. So I'll see you then. Of course, that was a nice instantaneous. I'll see you then.